to this one. So when you see these, look out for those. So file, open, 4-7, and save it as Japan Postcard. And then OK. You can turn it in whenever you would like. If you finished it, then turn it in. If you need a couple more days, then take a couple more days. This one I don't think is due till Thursday, but like I said, I'm working ahead um, a little bit because of being out for testing next week. Okay, so show the Mount Fuji layer and then show the blue pushback layer. So quick little eyeballs on. Target the blue pushback layer, reduce its opacity to 40%. So click on it and then in the little opacity box, type 40. And so you can see it gives a nice little cover there. So if you toggle between having it on and off, it's definitely lighter and brighter. All right. So now click file on the menu bar and open to navigate where you store your data files. Open the folder named Japan Images, then open the file waterfall. So that leads us, leads us to something to talk about. All right, um, so you have a zipped file in here. And the reason why these are in a zipped file is because these are all very, very large files. Um, so in order for me to get them in one folder and deliver them to you, I had to compress them, which means make them smaller. So um, when you download this folder, it's going to have like a little Z, a little stylish zipper on it, you know, um, and you're going to need to extract it. So there's a video here on how to do extractions on Windows 10. If you have any other operating system, um, it's pretty easy to to you know just type in a web browser how do i extract files and blah 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 whatever your system is and there will be a ton of tutorials and videos to show you that so are we okay knowing that everyone good okay good all right so for me i'm going to go ahead and open up my file here. And so um, I have an aftermarket program installed. Um, so there's my little zip file. I'm just going to right click it. And then, well, I was going to, let's see. <laughs> there it is. And then I have uh, extract here because I have uh, seven zip. Now you might have that as well. And so now all my files are extracted inside of the folder where I'm keeping the other files. Might look a little complex if you've never done it, but I promise it's, it's very, very simple. And I'm, you know, I'm here to help you at 11 PM tonight if you need it. So, all right. So click file, open, and we're gonna find waterfall, open. So then it says select all, copy, and then close waterfall. So in my menu, select all, and then edit, copy, and then I'm gonna target the Japan layer, and then do edit, paste and it's going to paste right above and I'm going to rename this layer waterfall and then I'm going to hide it and close this file this is in the way So now it says, use the same mo method to open, copy, and paste Pagoda, Arch, Blossom, and Bamboo. So let's do it. So file, open. 
we'll get Pagoda. Select all, copy, then I can close it. And then in Japan, we'll take file, paste, whoops, I'm sorry, edit, paste, rename this, Pagoda, and then I'm going to hide it. File open. We're looking for arch. Select all, edit, copy. Close the file, go to Japan, and do edit, paste. Name it Arch. Hide it. All right. All, are all ready for the keyboard shortcuts? This is getting excruciating. File open. Blossom. Okay. So on my keyboard, I'm going to go Control A, Control C. And then in this file, I'll do control V, name it Blossom, and hide it. All right, so file, open, last one, thank goodness, bamboo. Uh, control A, control C. And then control V. Rename it, and boo, and hide it. Oh, goodness. That was a lot. All right. So when you're done pasting, naming the layers, and hiding them all, <laughs> your layers should resemble this in the same order. All right. So now let's show the waterfall layer, then clip it into the Japan layer. So you're going to turn the little eyeball on. And then you're going to hold your Alt key and hover over the line between the two. And when you see the little square with the down arrow, you can click and then release your Alt key. And it has been clipped. If you don't like the Alt method, then like I said, go into the, um, the menu options panel here. Or sorry, the, menu, the panel options menu. Did I really? That backwards, huh? Okay, the options, panel options menu, and you can create a clipping mask from there like we did the first time. <clears throat> okay, so now scale the waterfall artwork so that it's positioned in the J the way you find it appealing. Hmm. So um, the best way, in my opinion, to do this is control T, which means transform. So you have to make sure that waterfall is selected on your layers panel and then do control T and you'll see you now have a bounding box. I'm going to use my shift key to keep the aspect ratio and I can now see the little waterfall and I'm going to just kind of move it into the spot where I find it appealing, which is there. Okay. So now show the pagoda layer. All right. So we'll do control D to deselect. Or maybe not. Hold on. Okay. I just clicked out of it and it deselected. That works too. All right. So show the pagoda layer. And then we're going to create a clipping mask with it. So I'll do it with the um, menu this time. Create clipping mask. So see, it's added to it. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to um, do control T and hold shift to resize and move and get this about where I want it. That'll work. And I'm just going to get here. I'll click the move tool and that also removes me. So from uh, 
from any other changes. So that works too. All right. So now we have a little bit of pickle. Um, our beautiful waterfall is being covered up. I, I assume that's Mount Fuji. I really don't know. Um, it's one of them. It's a mountain. <laughs> Anyhow, it is being covered up. Even though that's a beautiful picture, we want the waterfall there. Um, so we are going to use either our brush tool or our um, rectangular marquee to create a mask here. So add a layer mask to the pagoda layer. So layers, I got the pagoda layer um, selected. And then down here, I will add the layer mask. And so now um, I want to um, either brush or use my marquee to cover this up. Now I said this a little bit earlier. What color can you see through and what color can you not see through when it comes to masking? I love doing these like little surprise. I'm asking a question. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? All right, so the opposite. So white you can see through and black you cannot. And that's okay. It takes a, a lot of practice to kind of memorize them. Um, so in the case of right now, exactly. <laughs> it's a 50-50. <laughs> if one of them doesn't work, then it's the other one. <laughs> um, so in the case right now, my foreground color is white. So if I go painting over um, to try to, to mask this part of my picture, it's not gonna work because it's white. So all I need to do is toggle these. So click X and move the black into the foreground. So you can do this in two different ways. You can create a brush and just, you know, color over it if you would like. I think mine's, yeah, mine's at 40%, so it should be at 100. There we go. So that's one way to do it. Or you can use your rectangular marquee to draw a rectangle around that shape and then do alt delete to fill it with black. And then control D to deselect. So that's basically what we're about to do for all of these. I just realized I have this little area here. And I'm going to move this down a little bit. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So now we're going to finish up. We're going to do arch on the P. So holding alt. Oops. And getting that little arrow thingy between. I'll click and now arch. is there and we'll do control T where is it <laughs> oh I'm not showing it y'all oh my gosh I'm telling you like on one hand I want people to be like hey school People are too tired to understand Photoshop at eight in the morning. But at the other, on the other hand, I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to fight with like all the other subjects to have a later class. But, but yes, it is very true. When you're tired, <laughs> you miss things. <laughs> all right. So control T and I'll hold shift to resize this, put this bad boy right here. in the in the P and it looks like part of the A which is fine the next one will actually cover that one up okay 
So now it's there and I need to mask the part that's hanging out in the A. So I'm going to use the uh, marquee method because I think it's faster. So I'm just going to draw my marquee and then No, I'm not. I haven't made the mask. Hold on. Undo that. All right. So with arch selected, we have to first make the mask. There we go. It's there. Now we can move into marquee. And alt delete fills it with black. And now it is see through. Oh, Janelle, it was me that was wrong. I was wrong the whole time. <laughs> and y'all are so funny. Y'all just let me hang out being wrong and not finding things and making mistakes and don't say anything. <laughs> I was wrong the whole time. Okay. <laughs> so black, you can see through white. You can't see through. Gosh. All right. So now deselect, control D. So we're going to do the exact same thing with Blossom, but we're going to show it first. That'll be fun, right? Um, Alt, and then we're going to control T, make it smaller, it's going in the A. Yeah, about there. All right. And then I will create the mask. For the P. I'm only going to come up to here because if I go any further down, I'm going to get part of the A. And then I'll delete. Okay. And so last one is the bamboo and it's going in to end. So we're going to show it. I don't know how that's possible, but if you did it, then congrats. We'll, we'll see it. I would like for you to, um, to have masks just so you know how to use them. So if there's any way you can find it in your heart, Callan, to just, you know, follow the directions, that would be cool. Um, so I have this deselected still, so let me deselect that. Bamboo, control T, let's resize it, and then it covers the N. Hold on, I can't see this one as well. So it looks like they have like the little branch kind of hanging out right, right about there. We'll do that as well. Okay, and so now we're going to click on there, add a mask, use the fill, and alt delete. Perfect. And so now each letter is filled with a different picture. I'm going to control D to deselect. So this part I found exciting because I thought I was going to have to apply all this stuff, but apparently not. It's already there. You just have to turn it on. So open your layers panel underneath um, Japan, click on the eyeball of any of these effects and they will show back up. And bam, you are finished. And then has a lot of stuff here, but don't worry, just save it and submit it. 